How's it going, babies and lettermen? We are here today with a very, 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 very exciting new Let's Play. I think you guys are gonna like it. I mean, if you don't like it a lot, you're gonna at least like it a little, little bit. We're, we're, we're gonna play some Mother 3, ladies and gentlemen. And this isn't a game you, you play in uh, one sitting. Uh, not at all. So, uh, this is gonna be one that, uh, might last us for a while. And that's, uh, a very exciting thing. And let me name the, uh, younger boy here. He will be named Lip Soap. I don't know who the younger boy is, but, uh, it works. The older twin brother, an energetic boy. Is that the, uh, the one with the red hair? Kinda? Uh, let's name him... Uh, I named the other kid Lip Soap. I can't tell which is which. That's my problem. So let's name this one Dirk. D. I. Where's the I? I R. Uh, okay. There we go. Guys, I'm, I'm more than excited for this. You have no idea. Uh, I got this. It is the, uh, um... Shoot, it is the fan translation, so it's it's United States Ian. So uh United States Ian, it's in English. It's in English, that's all that matters, right? So uh no, this is very exciting. So let's name the father, uh You know, I'm gonna name him Ron. Cause he he kinda has a Ron Swanson mustache from uh, Parks and Rec, which was a very good uh television show. I kinda I'm gonna name him Ron. I don't know why. Something that always appealed to me about this game was getting to name your characters. The beloved mother. Um Mother, mother, mother. Ah, because the name of the game is Mother Three. Uh, if you haven't caught on to that yet, that is what we're playing. We're playing some Mother Three. Uh what should we name the mother? Uh 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 Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna do this to tee Derek off a little bit. Uh, not even because it has anything to do with anything that happened in real life. Definitely not. Uh, I'm just gonna do this to tee Derek off because I like to do that whenever I get the chance. The brave and smart dog. His name's gonna be Mouth because I'm Mega Mouth. Ian. He's he's always been a help on the channel. He's been one of my best pals in real life. Good guy. So we're gonna name him Mouth. Mouth. I know watching me type these names might not be the most excited thing. What's your favorite homemade food? Oh my gosh. You know what? This is going to sound goofy, but I like rice pudding. I like rice pudding. Rice pudding. Can I fit the pudding in here? Let's find out, ladies and gents. Fun fact, this is my first full playthrough of the game. Pud yeah. Can I fit anything more? Darn it. Rice pudding. I can't fit rice pudding. Let's think of a new name. I'll be back when I have it. Alright, and we are here, and we, we, we figured out our favorite homemade food is now a uh, snack pack pudding pack. It's the best thing I could think of. You're going to have to deal with it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin our journey. Oh, wrong button. Now, let's begin our journey. What's my favorite thing? Oh, my God. God, uh, air. I like air. Uh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Uh, I could think of a thousand other things I could put for this that might not be the most appropriate. So let's let's keep it clean on this one. <laughs> What's my favorite thing? Text speed. I don't. What? And I don't. I don't need to put up with any of your stuff. Is this okay? You know what? Yeah, okay, I'm Lucas. Lucas, Lip Soap, they both start with L's. It makes sense. Dirk can be the the other kid, I guess. And uh, Ronald Swanson, and then Mora is the mother, and then the mouth is the dog. This is going to be a fun one, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to start this adventure with all of you. Did I hit the right button? Okay, here we go. Sadly, you guys don't get the music. Trust me, I, I, wish, I wish we did too. Um, but I get the music, and oh, it's so good. It's so good. I wish you guys could hear this like I'm hearing it. Oh, oh. Nowhere Islands. This is the most flawless game. You guys are going to love it. 
I'm not skipping this either. You guys are getting all the 16-bit cutscenes in the world. Tasmili Village. Is it Tasmili or Tasmili? I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like Tasmili. Uh oh, something not good's happening here, folks. All right, all right. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna let you watch this, even though it is silent. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. And this isn't even really necessary. I think you can skip this one. This just shows you some of the very nice locations in the game. Um, you know, I'm not sure how long how long this goes, but uh, Alec Morris' father. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's a very nice cutscene. And here we go. So we're at our grandfather's because it's our mom's father's. Duh. So this is gonna be. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my. My uh, screen capture isn't catching in the whole thing. Lip soap, how long are you gonna sleep? Get up so we can play. Get up already. The Dragos bought their babies over. They're really cute. Hurry up. Now I can choose to get up or not, uh, but let's do it. Ah, oh, rubbing the sleep out of ours. Oh, I love this game. No problem here. No problem here. Uh, I always like to check stuff. Pokemon taught me that, you know. A real wood burning stove, you know. This is kind of, you know, set up like Pokemon in the beginning, you know. This, the same bed head as always. Yeah, nothing special going on here. Let's head downstairs. Here we see our beautiful mother. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Lip Soap. Dirk has been up for a while playing with the Dragos. We can check stuff too. There's nothing really important in here. Uh, there's a little chest over here. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, no problem here. Yeah, nothing's going on. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. Yeah. And I don't. I don't really know what happens if we choose not to. But. Uh, you know, let's see, does it say something now? Looking handsome. Uh, compared to the same bedhead as always kind of feel we got, uh, you know what, I'll take that as a compliment, man. So now we are outside. And here we meet a fun little character. Alec, the grandfather. Oh, <laughs> you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. What a sweet guy, you know, I just, I love grandparents, I love my grandparents, I'm so happy to have them in my life, you know, all of them, all of them, each and every one, man, love them all to death, and, uh, fun fact, I don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm sure you can tell, and we have a choice to go over here, or to go down here, and we're gonna go down here, cause we're just that cool. We're gonna go down this valley. There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. Uh, but we're rebels. Oh, they just won't let us do that. Uh, well, what a shame. What a shame. Now, I know I told you guys I never actually played this game before, and oh, look, a froggy! A story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories, and in turn become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please, tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. That is what people refer to as saving. Now then, save your game? No. I can save it in the app, I believe, so. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. You know, very. That's the best way to introduce a save point in a game, I think. One of the best, at least. Here we go. And, oh, what is going on here? Our little brother, Dirk, is fighting a dinosaur. What's happening? He notices us. Ha! Ha! Woo! I'm beat. I've been play fighting with the Dragos all morning. You should play too, Lip Soap. You know what? We have to. Here, try ramming into a Drago. Dirk! Lipso still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Lipsoap, try to imagine a thing called a B button. 
and then hold that P button for a second, then let go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram into that Drago there. Dirk, show him an example. Oh. <laughs> yes, just like that. Now it's your turn, Lipsoap. Give it a try. Alright, let's see. Where is my B button inputted? I'm pretty sure I have it inputted on my B button on my keyboard. Uh, you'll never succeed with such a sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. Rawr. Okay, maybe my B button doesn't doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got him. Oh, this is going to be a fun Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait. I got him. Let's talk to Grandfather. You're weakling now, but I know that someday you'll be stronger than anyone else. <laughs> the harder you run into them, the more the Dragos like it. Move it out of the way. Make way for the great mole cricket. I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you. Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain. Oh yes, our first ever battle. Oh goodness, I hate this screen capture, man. You encountered the mole cricket. What an interesting creature, too. Bash. Goods, guard, or run. Let's bash him. Yeah, let's take this boy out. Let's have a uh, Dirk guard. Dirk is guarding. Lips up attacks. The mole cricket used the biting attack. Oh, that took some damage to Lips up there. But he is gonna bash this time. And so is Dirk. Dirk attacks. 10 damage. Lips up attacks. 9 damage. The mole cricket used the biting attack on Dirk. It misses. Bash the mole cricket. Bash the mole cricket again. Lips up attacks. Dirk attacks. That's 18 damage. Mole Cricket surrenders. That's how we do it, baby. We win. We earn 2 XP. Oh, yeah. We showed them, Dirk. So you have more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be at the big Mole Cricket Hole Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. <laughs> what a cool character, man. That's that's what makes this game so great, the characters. And here comes the mother character. I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's alright. <laughs> Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your favorite, boys. Snack pack! Okay. Maybe it doesn't necessarily fit into the, to, the uh, context of the uh, story there. I was thinking the snack pack, put in cups. It doesn't really fit the story well, but, hey, you know, it's the best we got, guys. I apologize. Hey, they're on. Guys, apologize. Ah, all right, whatever. You, you get what you get. You too, Dad. So this game's already charming as heck, guys. Now then. Listen, folks. Here is how to save. <laughs> Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. Another fantastic introduction for saving. This is fantastic. I mean, no game does that. You know, breaks the third wall like that. You know, Alec is such a cool character. I really like him. What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh, snack pack. Then your favorite food is the same as ours? <laughs> we make a good match. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids could make it there on their own, if that's safe. That, I don't think I read that right. I bet even you could handle it, Lepsoap. <laughs> I love that laugh. Okay, okay, okay. And this is where we'll leave off for next time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to head through the forest back home. Oh, here we are.